Hi friends, welcome to my channel Nomadic Wheels. If you had not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe. Today, I will take you with me to explore the beautiful terrain of East Sikkim. Please have a look on the right side of your screen. You can see a few abandoned army bunkers that is called Eagle's Nest Bunker. On a clear day, one can see 360 degree unhindered view of Eastern Himalayas, Mount Kanchenjunga, Tibetan Plateau of China, Western Bhutan and mighty Bombaputra River. And that will definitely captivate your senses. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We are at MG Mark, Gangtok, and we are going to Gangtok Tourist Information Center uh, for our entry pass at Nathula Baba Mandir and Changu. And strolling in the morning. Superb, but a bit cloudy. So, the ambience is absolutely tranquil. Last evening, I did some shopping, strolled at the MG Mark, had some snacks and enjoyed the evening uh, to my heart's content. It was a pleasing experience spending the evening at MG Mark. This is an important notice that I found at Tourist Information Center uh, at Gangtok. Uh, you can have a look and have a screenshot of it. I couldn't use my camera while I was going towards Changu Lake Nasula Pass and Baba Mandir because the area was extremely close to Indochina border so I didn't dare to use my camera there uh, that's why uh, I have given a few snapshots here uh, to share with you uh, this is in front of Changu Lake This is Nathula Pass. It is 4310 meter above sea level and the red building over there is the border between India and China. This is a small mountain hamlet called Kuku. It is a few kilometers after New Baba Mundi. A few huts and 
a meter check post. That is all in this small hamlet. Hi friends, today is the seventh day of my ride to North and East Sikkim and I am on the last phase of my ride. Today I shall ride through the winding mountain roads of East Sikkim. I started my ride from my hotel at Gangtok and got to Changulek at about 9.30 am and from there I rode to Nathula Pass which is the border of India and China. After spending a few memorable moments that I shall cherish for the rest of my life, I went to new mandir of Baba Harbhajan Singh and now I am just in front of Kupup Lake or Elephant Lake that is on my left. The silk route of Sikkim India has several such high altitude lakes and one of the most beautiful is surely the Kupup Lake. The local people call it Bitancho. As it resembles to elephant, Kupup Lake is also called Elephant Lake. The lake nestles at an altitude of 13,066 feet on the Jelepla Pass. The lake is making me feel that nothing on earth is more pristine. A small village that is called Kupup is also located at the lake coast. This village was recognized as a transit point during the silk trade between India and Tibet. From here, I shall head to Old Baba Mandir where there is a bunker of Baba Harbhajan Singh. From there, I shall head straight to Juluk via Nathang Valley and Lungthang. Now, I am approaching Nathang Valley. It is located at an altitude of 13,500 feet. This valley was the home to traditional yak herders who came from Tibet. A few streams crisscross the valley. Nathang Valley appears in different colors in different times of the year. It is absolutely devoid of any kind of tree. In autumn, it looks golden as the grass dries up. In rainy season, it is covered with different flowers. It is visited by migratory birds before the onset of winter. In winter, the valley is buried in 5 feet of snow. Now there are many homestays here with modern amenities. If you do not like Nathan Valley, you will not like paradise. I am at a loss for words to describe the beauty of this mesmerizing valley. I have just crossed Thambi viewpoint as it is extremely foggy. I didn't stop here and now I'm heading towards Juluk that is 14 km away from here.
After crossing Lung Thang and Thambi view point, I have come to Juluk. I was a little disappointed at Thambi view point as the sky was cloudy. Thambi view point offers a panoramic view of the entire Mount Kanchenjunga range. The glittering rays of the rising sun caress the snow-clad peak of Mount Kanchenjunga which slowly turns crimson then golden and finally silver. The spectacle must be truly spectacular and breathtaking. Juluk is about 14 km away from Thambi view point. It is a hilltop and a transit point within the Silk Route. The road through Juluk makes almost 32 hairpin turns which makes it a popular and spectacular tourist attraction. It is a small hamlet beside a winding road that accommodates a population of around 700 people. During rainy season, there comes about a riot of colors of wild flowers. I have been waiting here at Juluk as carpeting is going on for half an hour and as I am told the road will not open before 45 minutes. I supposed to reach NJP before 8 pm. Don't know how long I have to linger here. I must call my mom as I haven't called her since the morning. She must be very worried. As the road opened up, I headed straight towards Siliguri via Lingkam, Padamchen and Rongpo. At Rongpo, I sold all my documents and permits at the check post there. I have crossed Kurunasan Bridge half an hour ago and now I am about to enter the outskirts of Siliguri. I am ending this vlog right here as it is already dark. If you like my effort, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the quick and timely notification of my upcoming videos. Thank you once again for watching till the very end.